An orphan girl named Molly, lives in an orphanage, and secretly reads a book. She tells us about the manager of the orphan home, Miss Adderstone. Adderstone treats the kids aggressively, and she forbids them from watching TV or eating sweets. On top of that, she forbids them from reading books. They are forbidden to do anything that is fun and entertaining. If she sees any kid doing any of these things, she punishes him severely. Meanwhile, Molly hides in the laundry, because wants to read the book without Adderstone knowing. While she is reading this book, a boy named Rocky enters. It seems that Rocky is her mate in the orphan home, and her best friend. On the other hand, Rocky goes with her to steal food from the kitchen, and they give the food to the rest of the kids. While they eat, Adderstone hears them, and she takes them to her office. Meantime, she argues and punishes them, but Molly cut her off and confessed to her that she stole the food, and she gives all her colleagues. Miss Adderstone gets very angry, and punishes her by cleaning the bathrooms for a whole week. She then punishes the rest by not going out all of the week from tomorrow. On top of that, their week's food is fish soup, because she knows that they all hate the fish soup. The next day, the cook already makes for them fish soup, but all of them don't eat anything. After a while, Molly sees a paper for a talent competition in their village. Then, she tells Rocky to apply for this competition, because he is a good singer. But there is a girl who makes fun of Molly and Rocky. They shout at each other and argue, but Adderstone hears them, and she comes to upset them all. When she sees the competition paper with Molly, she gets more nervous. She then takes it from Molly, and upset her before all her colleague. Miss Adderstone punishes her again, by washing the dishes all week. After eating, Molly goes to wash the dishes, and Rocky goes to sit with her, until she finishes her punishment. He sings to her, and she is very impressed with his voice. Molly tells him to apply for the talent competition, but Rocky tells her that he is afraid to sing before people, and he is singing to her, because she is his friend. But Molly tells him that she will go to the talent competition with him, and help him not to get nervous. At this point, Adderstone hears them. She tells them that no one will get out of them, and the only way to get out of here, is if someone adopts them. Certainly, there is no one will think to adopt someone like them. Molly gets upset and is very affected by this, and begins to suspect that her family didn't really die. But they abandoned her because she is a bad child. While Molly is going to bed, she meets Barry. Barry is the nanny, who takes care of the kids in the orphan home. Also, she is very close to them, unlike Adderstone. At this time, Molly tells Ms. Barry about what happened, and she is affected. But Barry comforts her, and tells her to be a confident girl. Later, she tells her that she is a very special girl, and she shouldn't allow anyone to frustrate her or diminish her. Barry calms Molly down and lets her go to sleep. On the next day, Molly is alone, and upset about what Adderstone said yesterday. Rocky sits with her, and tells her to come and play with him. But she tells him that she'll go to the library to borrow a book to read. Molly goes to a library, and enters to look for a good book to read. While she is looking in the library, she hears a person named Nachman. He is very nervous and upsets the librarian, because he is looking for a specific and very rare book on hypnosis. For a long time, he's looking for this book and can't find it, and came from London because he knows that there is a copy of this book in this library. At the same moment, Molly accidentally finds the book he is talking about. So, she is so curious to open this book. She reads the first page, and she reads in it, that she is about to start a very amazing journey. After that, Molly is so fascinated by the book and takes it and walks. But it falls from her and Nachman sees it. He goes to take the book quickly, but Molly takes it and runs out of the library. When Nachman comes out behind her, he can't catch up with her, and asks one of the neighbors about her. In this time, he knows from her that her name is Molly, and lives in the orphanage. On the other hand, Molly arrives at home. She starts reading the book, and takes a brief about hypnosis. Then, she knows that this hypnosis is an art and a talent, that has been used for a very long time. And hypnosis can make fear and pain away, and improve people's lives a lot. This book talks about learning the talent of hypnosis. So, Molly reads the book, and knows the method and the instructions that she will follow. She then decides to try hypnosis. And after much thought, she decides to try this experiment on Adderstone's dog. Actually, she starts applying what she reads to the dog. Molly can really control this dog completely, and is so happy when she can do that. Meantime, Rocky comes and he is very annoyed, 
because there was a time to practice singing between them, and she didn't come. Molly says sorry to him because she was a little busy. Then, she goes to the kitchen at home to try hypnosis on something bigger than a dog. Meanwhile, she tries hypnosis on the orphan home chef. Molly can control her, and convince her not to make fish soup again. At lunchtime, all the children are surprised, that the food isn't fish soup, and they find Italian food at the highest level. They sit and eat while they are very happy. Suddenly, Adderstone enters and is shocked by what she sees. She shouts to them and the orphan home chef too. So, Barry interrupts her and tells her to let the children be happy, and eat something they like. Meanwhile, Adderstone is annoyed very much, and she tells them that a family comes to her, and they want to adopt a child from the orphan home, but she'll tell them about Rocky for adoption. Also, she asks Rocky to prepare himself and dress well, when the family comes. Of course, Rocky gets upset, and Molly gets even more furious, because they are best friends, and don't want to be separated from each other. On the same night, Rocky talks to Molly for a while. He tells her that he doesn't want to walk without her, and Molly tells him that she won't allow this to happen. At the same time, Barry goes to talk to Adderstone. She tells her that Rocky and Molly are very close, and it is better for them to wait for a family to adopt them both together, so that they don't separate from each other. But Adderstone refuses and tells her to get out of this matter. In this time, Barry threatens her and tells her, that if the family adopts Rocky, she'll report her to the police. And that's because she treats the kids very badly, and she may be imprisoned. At this moment, Adderstone gets annoyed by her words, but she can control herself and she pretends that she'll do what Barry told her. The next day, Nachman sneaks into the house to steal the book from Molly, but Adderstone holds him while he is inside the home. He then tells her that he is here to be a volunteer at the orphan home. At this time, Adderstone agrees to his appointment, and she gives him to do tasks along. Meanwhile, Nachman is forced to do these tasks and complete his acting. Molly completes her reading in the book, and now she knows how to use hypnosis more professionally. After reading, she knows that it's very difficult to control a nervous person's mind, and if she wants to control anyone, he should be completely relaxed and very calm. Meanwhile, Adderstone decides to get rid of Barry because she threatened her yesterday. At this time, she tells Barry to fix a broken lamp in the orphan home. But this lamp is in a high place, so Barry stands on a chair to fix the lamp. At this moment, Adderstone falls the chair, and makes Barry fall from a high place. The ambulance then comes to take her. All the kids ask about her, because she is so kind. But Adderstone upsets all the kids, and tells them to go to sleep. The next day, Rocky is going to the talent competition. He then asks Molly to help him, and relieve his stress. But Molly tells him that she'll do something, and come to him on showtime. Meantime, she wants to control Adderstone, to change her mind about adopting Rocky. Molly goes to Adderstone's office, and she manages to control her mind and hypnotize her. Then, she tells her that she must let the family who is going to adopt Rocky, adopt anyone other than him. And if any family comes to adopt one of them, let this family adopt them both together. Also, Molly orders her to treat all the kids in a good way. But before she walks, Molly accidentally sees her record in the orphan home. And in this time, she knows that her family didn't really die. But they abandoned her, and left her on the doorstep of the orphan home and walked. Molly is very affected and upset but she moves quickly because she's late for Rocky's competition. Meanwhile, when Molly doesn't attend the show, Rocky can't sing. Molly arrives at the show, but the competition is over. And Rocky is upset with her, because she didn't attend with him. At the same time, the family who will adopt the child arrives. And Adderstone goes and has three children other than Rocky. But Rocky enters and meets the family. He gets to know them, and tries to get close to them to adopt him, because he gets very annoyed with Molly. Actually, he doesn't want to sit with her anymore, after what happened to him before people. The family likes Rocky and his manners very much, and they decide to adopt him. While Rocky is walking with this family, Molly comes to the orphan home. Meanwhile, she calls out to Rocky before he walks with them, and tells him that she did everything to make Adderstone get back on her decision. But she is surprised when he tells her that this is his decision, because she disappoints him more than once. Also, she promised to be with him at the time of the show, but she breaks her promise. Rocky bids her farewell, and walks with the new family to London. Molly is left alone, 
and gets really annoyed at Rocky. At this time, one of her friends calms her down, and tells her that he'll come back one day. But Molly tells her that she is sure he'll never come back. So, she tells Molly to go to him, and Molly agrees with this idea. Later, she decides to use her new skills of hypnosis, to go to Rocky and takes him back. Molly then goes to see Rocky's record, to know the address of the family who adopted him. Before she knows the address, she finds Nachman behind her, and he asks her where the book is. In this time, Molly hits him and takes the paper with the address. The problem is that the paper was cut off, and there was no address on it. But Molly doesn't care, and continues running away. When Nachman goes chasing her, the dog helps her and keeps Nachman away from her. He then goes with her to London, after being friends with her. Molly uses her skill as a hypnotist to travel to London by bus. She also goes to sit in a hotel there, and controls the minds of all the employees, and makes them book the best suite to her. Molly then watches TV and has a nice time. On the next day, Molly uses her power to know Rocky's address. She then goes to Rocky and tells him everything about hypnosis. Molly tells him to come with her and they'll achieve all their dreams. Surprisingly, Rocky refuses and tells her that he has a family now, and he lives with them happily. Rocky then leaves her after that and walks away. At this time, Molly is annoyed very much. She finds a famous singer making a huge show, and she wants girls to sing behind her. The singer then announces the audition place for these girls, and Molly decides to take part in this show. Actually, she goes to stand in a big line and waits for her turn. Molly finds the producer of the audition fights with the singer, and they got a big problem. So, she goes to him to control his mind. Molly convinces him to choose her instead of this singer, and lets her be the one to sing in the show. The producer agrees, and gives Molly the position of the famous singer. After this party, Molly's appearance changes completely, and she becomes famous everywhere in London. The most famous TV programs host her, and her pictures in all the streets of London. When she walks in the street, people gather around her to take a photo together. But the problem is that Molly isn't talented at all, and she can't sing or even dance. The audience knows that she has no talent, and they think that she gives the producers money. After this, Molly decides to use the book. She knows how to make the audience admire her, and make them see her as really talented. Molly reads about the way to control a large number of people's minds, and manages to do that. After some days, Molly has a show and a very large audience will attend. There is a lot, a large number of them present, and there will be a larger number who will watch TV. So, she decides to control all of their minds, and convinces them of her talent. Meanwhile, Rocky hears his family talking about him. They will send him to a residential school, instead of the school he is in. Rocky confronts them, and tells them that he won't go to any residential schools. He then enters his room, and prepares himself to escape from the house. Rocky manages to escape, and he goes looking for Molly. Meanwhile, Molly is reading the book again to control the minds of the audience. And when the show begins, she tells the audience to focus on her eyes. So, Molly can really control all of their minds, and let them admire her. But the problem is that in the meantime, the famous singer is searching for Molly. And this is to know why the audience admires her even though she isn't talented. After that, she finds a hypnosis book, and now she knows why Molly is so famous. At this moment, Nachman enters Molly's room, but he sees the book with the singer. He tries to take it away from her, and they both start fighting. But the singer takes the book. Meanwhile, Molly finishes her show, and everyone loves the show, except for Molly. Actually, she gets upset because she cheats on the audience. The assistant then comes to her to change her clothes, and Molly returns to the changing room. After a few minutes, the singer meets her there, and confronts her with the truth. Also, the singer says that she worked hard for six years to be famous, and tells Molly although she hypnotizes the audience, she became famous rather than her. In this time, Molly feels guilty, and is upset because she cheats on people. Molly says sorry to her that she takes her place, and tells her that she'll never come back here again. After all of this, Molly goes to the producer, and hypnotizes him to appoint the singer in her place again, because she is more talented than her. The producer then makes what Molly wants. While she is walking, she meets Rocky. She is very happy when she sees him, and hugs each other. After that, Molly tells him everything, and shows him the book, and the methods she used to become a famous star. While she is talking to him, some girl gives her a letter from Nachman. 
he tells her in the letter that he took her dog, and if she wants the dog, she must give him the book. After this, she gets angry and goes to his address, and meets him to control his mind. Rocky goes with Molly to be with her from afar, and when Molly arrives, she finds Nachman put his sunglasses to prevent Molly from controlling him. After a few minutes, she knows that Nachman wants her to rob a bank with him using her hypnotic skills, but Molly refuses. He tells her that she is a fraud, and she becomes famous falsely. On top of that, Molly is forced to agree to help him. After a while, there are employees from the bank in a car, and inside this car, there is a lot of jewelry. So, Molly goes to control their minds and takes the car. She then rides with Nachman and he takes the car to a far place. After this, he takes the jewels, and locks her and the dog in the cage. He then opens the box, but the box opens with an eye print. Meanwhile, Nachman's mom arrives, and it seems she is the mastermind from the beginning. His mother tells him that he has no personality, and that he is a cowardly person not look like her. At this moment, Nachman's mom forces Molly to open the box for her. When Molly opens the box, she puts her back in the cage, and locks her son with her. Nachman's mom then takes the jewelry from the box with her assistant. While they are inside the box, Rocky goes to Molly with a mirror. He tells her to lock the box on them by reflecting her eyes in the mirror, and Nachman helps her too. Molly manages to lock the box while they are inside, and lock them all in the box. Rocky then takes Molly and Nachman out of the cage, and Molly goes to control the woman's mind. She makes her turn herself in with the jewels that she and her men stole. The next day, Molly and Rocky go to the orphan home again with many gifts for all their friends. They know, that Adderstone resigned from managing the orphan home, and the new manager is Barry, whom they all love and are very close to them. Molly decides to continue her life naturally, and she then returns the book again to the librarian. Molly lives her life happily with her friends now, without cheating or deceit. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video.